right, so this is the autumn um, leaf craft and write. So this is the craft part of it, but there are also various um, writing templates for various grade levels. So different types of writing paper, some for those lower grades and some for the higher grades with both nonfiction and fiction writing prompts and planning pages. So I'll show those in a bit, but we're gonna do the actual craft at this moment. So everyone's gonna come with a pick a pattern. So the very first thing we're gonna do is pick the patterns that we want to use to decorate the background of our craft. So I'm gonna go with circles, zigzags, and some rainbows. So I'm gonna circle my patterns and then we're going to select the different parts that we want to use. So what I would do as a teacher is I would photocopy not a whole bunch of these. You wouldn't need to have one of each of the eyes or bits and pieces for each of your kids. You actually probably just do half and then just cut them up and kids can just select the ones they need. So I would just do half the amount that you need because there are so many on each page. And then kids can just come and cut out the ones they want and then share a bunch at the table. So I'm just gonna cut out some of the bits and pieces that I want to use to decorate my leaf. There's all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna pick the autumn ones, but there are also other fun things on there for all your different learners to choose from. And then again, I would just in your classroom, just simply have them all, just strip cut them with your big cutter and then they can all be singles and they can pick from a dish in, a, in their table groups. And same with the eyes, I would just cut them into strips and everybody can pick one strip, right? So this, I would say a couple pages of these per table and that would be probably good. So you don't need to photocopy all of them. Um, the only two things that you're gonna need, one for each person, is definitely the autumn leaf template and your pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna pick the eyes that I want to use. I'm just gonna play with my leaf here and see, oh, that one looks cute, doesn't it? See how fun it is? You can mix and match it to make it unique. I think I'm gonna go with those eyes. And then I also need a mouth. So you have two different styles of mouths. And I would keep any remaining pieces for the following year. Just put them in a nice big envelope and then kids, can, um, and then put it with your lesson plan and your binder, like those, or those clear sleeves. And then that way kids can, or sorry, you can have them ready for next year. And it's just like half the prep and things are all just ready to go for your kids in your classroom. do my pattern on here. Now you can pick any art making medium you want to do to, to do your patterns with. Um, I'm gonna do wax crayons and watercolor paints to color my um, background and do my patterns because they're gonna have a nice wax resist effect, but you can use whatever art making mediums you want to color this in. So I'm just gonna divide my paper up into a few sections. Okay. 
and add in my pick a pattern lines. And this gives students the opportunity to kind of turn this into a bit of an artwork. It's not just a craft. We have a little bit of practice with the element of our line, exploring creativity. They got some choice to make it unique and make it their own. And I think that is one of the wonderful things about it. Plus, then you have the integrated follow-up writing activity. And this craft is really a great way to supercharge their eagerness for wanting to write about their craft. They're already gonna have ideas because they've been supercharged with doing the craft first. And this is a great way to really combine and make learning a lot more um, interdisciplinary. Okay, so then I'm gonna add some paint. And again, you can color this or design this however you want, add the patterns in however you want, and you can paint it however you want. So I'm gonna paint each of my sections different colors, but you really don't have to. You could do this however you want. It could be all one color. There's no rules or right or wrong way to create your design. And I'm leaving mine not cut out at the very beginning, so I'm leaving it attached because then I can cut it out and then all, it'll kind of give some border so I don't get any mess on my table. That just makes it easier for cleanup. We're gonna cut out our leaf. And then we just got to assemble.
you can put your bits and pieces anywhere you want on your leaf. Again, this just makes it so much more unique for every individual in your classroom. They really each get to enjoy the experience. They're not gonna be all the exact same craft. They'll be similar, but they're not gonna be the same and everybody gets to put their own little artist flavor onto the design, which makes it so special. And once you're done, your autumn leaf is done. And to take a little look at what the pages look like. So you got lots of feedback um, pages, but you also got your craft example ready to go, a teacher guide included uh, in addition to the PowerPoint, and of course your writing pages all ready to go in this resource. <music>